So today we're installing the dimmable lights. Uh, these are just Amazon special. I think each one is 16 foot. And I got a little Chinese dimmer switch there. So um, what we're gonna do is basically put the lights under the railing. Um, I'll show you where I'm at back here. And yeah, let's get these bad boys rocking and rolling. Pretty sweet. One other thing you're gonna need is probably some like speaker wire, just a positive negative for, for running power to the lights. Super simple speaker wire. That's about it and some connecting fittings. So starting out in the back, I basically, you know, just remove this big panel. Um, I'm gonna stick the lights on last, but I just wanted to get some routing figured out how I'm gonna get power from over there all the way to my console over here. So the first thing I did, basically we have the splash well back here. Between the splash well and the live well on this boat, there's a space and uh, I ran a drill bit down through this space. I was able to put a clothes hanger down through here and it actually comes out about perfectly right down in here. So I'm gonna get them wires all nice and together there and uh, run them down over here, get them back behind here for power. So I got the clothes hanger here. This is basically what I'm gonna pull through and I got my speaker wire taped to it. Uh, so let's give her a pull and see what happens. I know it's somewhere down here. Close hand here. Here it is. Right here. Look at that. So pull a hanger through. Boom. So getting over to the other side here. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the lights obviously down the rail and then power is going to go back down through my gas line. Um, so I have the hanger right here. I'm going to fish the wires down through that. There's already a tube here and I have the hanger right here. So we're going to fish the wires through the tube, bring the wires down, and then we'll just go right into all the other standard, uh, you know, wire holes here. We're going to pull on our hanger. Boom, just like that. We got wire where we need it to be. So I took my dash apart here and I have a master power switch. And I'd like to have, what I'm gonna do is put a, the, I'm gonna put the dial I believe right here in this one so I can turn it here. But I want the dial to turn on with the master power. So if the dial gets bumped, I don't want the lights to be on. Basically, if master power has to be on, then the lights can work. So. I have a fancy dancy, super duper fancy dancy test light. You guys are like this. So um, I found this wire here and I don't know if it's controlled by master power or not. So what we're gonna do is check it out, basically checking for power here. Okay, master power off, sweet, on, off. Okay, I'm gonna wire my switch this and it's already got is that a fuse I don't know what is that is there a fuse yeah it's already fused I didn't have a fuse so that's cool that there's a few inline fuse to it already cool let's go here's a light strip it does have the sticky back to it um, it had a, like a 12 volt plug on it but there um, I snipped that off peeled the wires back so we have got some wire exposed there before I stick the lights on, before I cut the hole in here for the switch, we're gonna fully wire it, test operation, make sure it works, then we'll stick the lights on, we'll drill the hole for the switch, and we'll call it good. So right now I'm working on getting the power from the console over to the other side, and of course these are gonna be like combined together. Now this might be controversial to some people, but it works. This is called a scotch lock connector. Basically, instead of like cutting these and teeing these to go over to the uh, starboard side of the boat, this is the starboard side power. What I'm gonna do is run that into the scotch lock connector here and then run this in so we got negative and positive. And basically you put that into there, you crimp it down and you're set. Well, I wasn't recording for this one, but uh, this one I'm just about to do. Basically, this goes onto the line this wire slides into here. There's a metal bar in here with like pokers on it. And when you squeeze it, it uh, pokes into the wire. So we hit her with the pliers, get her, they like, there's like a little click. So they click into place, just like that. The extra juicy stuff squirts out. 
And now when this goes to the switch, the switch will control the starboard side and the port side of the boat. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get these wires tucked down here. We're gonna tie them up nice and neat. Ooh, figure stuff. All right, let's do that. All right, so ground to ground. Give her the old little twisty twist. Okay, so now. If master power is on, these two are alive. So we have these here to here. I have some of these like melty dealies. Guys, if you haven't got these yet, um, I don't know, Amazon melting butt connectors. They are amazing. Our silver wire is going to be negative. And then our red wire is obviously our positive. But I'm talking on the speaker wire. You got like a silver and like a copper color. So we got those in there. All right, here we go. Nice and easy. Whoa, a little easier than that. There we go. Push down on that. I'd say if that's good. All right, one more to go. Lick the fingers, pinch. Key is licking the fingers. Ha! Okay, so our switch is wired in. And then what we're gonna do is we'll drill a little hole the size of that, pop her through, and then uh, this just goes. This is gonna be sweet. already just golden this is great so some of these red ones have a smaller size on one side and a bigger size on the other for smaller wires and bigger wires and I tell you what it's like freaking awesome <clears throat> so let's hit this one up the solder just went Okay, and now these are waterproof too. That was the other cool thing about these. Give them a little pull, not too much of a pull. All right, here it is, moment of truth. <clears throat> the moment I've been waiting for and you've been waiting for. Switch is off. Okay, switch is off. We're gonna turn master power on. Nothing smoking or nothing yet. All right. Here we go. We got power on. We're just gonna turn this switcher on and see if our strip lights up. So, here's this moment of truth. Let's go. Oh, we got lights. Boom. There we go. It works. So, now we need to yes, get the other side, the starboard side, um, powered in. And then we stick the lights, stick them down the rail. Let's go. Now, how do I find the center of a circle? <laughs> how about there? That's gonna be sweet. Bring the thing on the back. Bring this through. Oh, I might need, a, might need a bigger hole actually. I do, I need a little bit bigger hole. Keep it in place. We'll put our knob on it. Oh my goodness. We got lights. Boom. Let's button her up. So, do this, 
guys are gonna start right. Perfect. I'm just gonna follow that little ridge. Oh, what? Oh my goodness, here we go. This is final. It's final, guys. We're doing it. Keep going with it, there we go. All right, well I just cut it right here and I have about, I don't know, just under a foot left over. But this is garbage, so cool, cool. We got one side done, now we're gonna go run this side. Just like that, the lights are in all the way down. So not too hard of a project, nice little ambient lighting. I'm not thinking that this is gonna light the whole boat up completely at night, but it gets the job done, it's something. Um, it's kind of better than what the boats come with. If you do get a Shadow Series of Lumacraft, they actually have under rail um, lighting built right into the Shadow Series, at least they do nowadays. Um, but yeah, super cool, little easy way to get some lights. So if you guys enjoyed, love it if you hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.